we've got a commitment to the American people to produce a better health care system for them. I would remind you, Bill Clinton said last year, it's the craziest thing you've ever seen. Eight out of ten Americans that want it either gone or substantially changed, and that's what we're going to do. And the timing, uh, just as soon as we have the votes. Just as soon as we have the votes. Did you hear that caveat there? Uh, that's what I do, folks. I do the analysis for you ahead of time. No, but in all seriousness, that's a very telling remark there. That That is saying, you know, don't get your hopes up crazy nuts here. I mean, that something could go wrong, probably will, uh, and things could get pushed back. And, and by the way, after the repeal and replacement of Obamacare, only then were they going to start addressing these tax rates and everything else. So I, I point that out to, to make it clear that in this town where everything becomes like this Byzantine project, enter Mitch McConnell to say, we've got a Byzantine project. Pennsylvania Republican Congressman Mike Kelly met with the president yesterday, a very powerful figure, mover and shaker here. And Congressman, always good to have you. I read into that. Don't get your hopes up. Did I read too much? No, no, I, I, I don't think you did. But I think the American public, uh, the people who elected President Trump, and this is a president who's an action figure, he's not comfortable with things going slowly. And I, I think we have to do things quickly, but we don't have to be in a hurry. We have to make sure it's right. We Look what happened I the know, first I, time I, it got you know, done. I hear that all the time. We don't want, we don't want to be in a hurry. We want to yeah. do what's right. Of course you do. But, but the more I hear talk like that, the more I hear caveats like that, not out of you, sir, but I'm just... And I understand how the leadership works. I understand how the town works. But it, they're setting up for some disappointment here. That's just my read. Disavow me of that notion. No, you know, I, I think that people have been here for a long time. That's the way they think. They don't think anything can get done quickly. They think, oh, my gosh, we, so have, to we have to drag it out. You disagree with Mitch McConnell. But well, you know, you, you know, the leader's been in the Senate a long time, and I, and I really do respect the time that he spent there. But I'm from the private sector, and for the private sector, if you wait too long, the only thing that comes to you is cold pizza. You better make sure you get it there early and get it there hot and get it there where something that people can digest. Unless we you have like everything cold pizza. in place, but and we I have to move. I think he's happy with cold pizza. I'm not. Well, I hear you there. But uh, what does a guy <laughs> named Kelly know about cold pizza? But I digress. <laughs> uh, do you think, Congressman, that uh, the repeal and replacement will be simultaneous? By that, whatever Republicans come up with, it's repealing Obamacare and then having a replacement mechanism, whether it's Rand Paul's. Um, but, but something there simultaneously. Well, I think there's enough there that we can blend it and make it something that can happen almost simultaneously. You know, with Dr. Price now being in charge of HHS, that was a big part of it, Neil, as you know. Right. He's there now. He's working. And I got to tell you, this White House works. This is not a group of people that thinks well, when's the next golf time. They get there very early in the morning and they're till late at night. So we get there at 6, 6 o'clock, 6.30 in the morning and work till 11 o'clock at night and you have a president that's working longer? Come on, are you kidding me? We can get it done, but everybody's going to have to adopt that same pace and think, well, we'll just take our time. No, let's get it done. Let's get it done. All right. Now, is it your best understanding that um, we get a tax package out the latter part of next month and then, you know, by summertime, it's voted on and approved? Well, I, I know the Chairman Brady is working very hard to get that done. Uh, I would You're just talking about Kevin Brady, the House Ways and Means. Yes, yes. Right. But I'm going to suggest this. You know, the Affordable Care Act was something that got rushed through. Big pieces of legislation take a little bit more time. And again, I'm going to go back to this. We know what we have to do to get the economy started. Let's make sure that everything we do, now when it comes to tax reform, is it pro-growth tax reform, and does it actually move the country forward? This is a president who's expecting big things from the people, but he says, I'm working with you, but you better put something there that I can actually get out there to the American people. We're going to be working very hard to get to that end. All right, so does that mean that you still support the party leadership's effort to go first with Obamacare, and because the president has indicated as much, but in retrospect, do you think that was a mistake, that maybe the tax stuff should have been moved first and foremost because that, you guys largely agree on yeah. the broad tenets and the health care thing, not so much. Yeah, well, the big thing we did was the executive orders that got taken place. We, that was on a clock. We had to get that done right, right away. When it comes to, for me, tax reform, uh, the health care reform, both of them are very important. They both are at the highest priorities. Uh, and I don't think we should have a problem with walking and chewing gum. I just think that in yeah. the private sector, you actually are able to do things. You have to learn how to do it because if you don't do it, you fail. And I just think the American people have seen enough failure. Obamacare, failure. Tax reform, so far, the last time it was done in 86 by President Reagan. I think a lot of what we see in tax reform is going to come from this president out of All the right. White House getting people to work together. But we have to get it done now, Neil. We can't drag our feet. Okay. Congressman Kelly, great seeing you again. Good luck. Always Have a great weekend. You. Thank you. You too.